वो टॉपिक है फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट लाइफ आप फॉरेन में हो आप इंडियन आर्टिस्ट हो तो इंडियन आर्टिस्ट की जो फॉरेन में जो लाइफ है उसके बारे में हम इस पॉडकास्ट में बात करेंगे आपके बारे में तो बात करेंगे ही प्लस उसके साथ एक फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट की एक क्यूरियसिटी होती है इंडियन आर्टिस्ट को के फॉरेन में जब आर्टिस्ट जाता है तो वहां पे क्या क्या सीखने को मिलता है वहां पे क्या क्या अलग अलग अपॉर्चुनिटीज होती है क्योंकि आ, सारे आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स जो होते हैं वो आ, एक इंस्टाग्राम पे या फिर सोशल मीडिया पे देखते हैं कि ना बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट वर्कशॉप लेने जाते हैं कंडक्ट करते हैं फॉरन में तो फिर उनको वहां पे कैसे चांस मिलता है वहां पे कंडक्ट करने का हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा फ्यूचर में तो फिर वो सारी चीजें हम इस पॉडकास्ट में बात करेंगे सो ये वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक Yeah, the topic is very interesting. Definitely a good angle and a very uh, inform. It could be very informative. Yes, for a lot. It will time. help uh, uh, other students also. Absolutely, absolutely. हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू सैंकी ब्लॉग्स इस बार पॉडकास्ट विद रियल आर्टिस्ट में जो आज के गेस्ट है उनको किसी इंट्रोडक्शन की जरूरत नहीं है उनको आप देखोगे तो आप जान जाओगे वो एक फाइन आर्टिस्ट है एंड लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू सुचित्रा भोसले हेलो थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी सैंकी थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग माई प्लेजर माई प्लेजर अभी यहाँ पे बजे है रात के नाइन फाइव हुए सो गुड मॉर्निंग मैम थैंक यू एंड आपको गुड इवनिंग या हाँ तो अभी मैं वो स्टोरी बताता हूँ मैं मेरे दोस्तों से बात कर रहा था तब मैं आर्ट कॉलेज में थे एंड वी आर जस्ट हैविंग लंच ब्रेक और लंच ब्रेक होने के बाद फाइन आर्टिस्ट आर्टिस्ट को पता है कि ब्रेक होने के बाद सब जाते हैं चाय पीने टपरी पे वैसे ही हम सब चाय पीने गए और वहां पे आपका ना इंस्टा पे सब चाय ऐसी वाली चाय है ना ये या बट आपके यहाँ पे बहुत ही प्रीमियम वाली चाय है हम कटिंग चाय पीते हैं हो वहां पे मिलता है बट इंडियन नहीं रहेगा वो गाय बकरी या तो वही इंस्टा पे कोई मेरा एक दोस्त स्क्रोल कर रहा था और आपके पेंटिंग्स दिखे तो ही इज माई सीनियर और वो मुझे ना आपके पेंटिंग्स दिखा रहा था और आपके बारे में बता रहा था ये आर्टिस्ट तेरे को पता है क्या ऐसे है वैसे है मैंने मैंने उसको कुछ नहीं बताया कि भाई आज ही मैं उनसे बात करने वाला हूँ सो यस जैसे कि हमने कॉल पे बात की थी फर्स्ट कॉल पे आपने कहा था कि यहाँ पे बहुत से आर्टिस्ट आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स है उनको आपके बारे में पता है पर मैंने कहा था कि बहुत लोगों को नहीं पता सो ही इज वन ऑफ देम उसको भी पता नहीं था फिर फिर मैंने उसकी ऐसी फिरकी लेने के लिए उसने उसको कहा कि तू जानता है आर्टिस्ट को कभी मिला है बोलता है नहीं पर यहीं पे रहते रहेंगे मैंने मैंने पूछा कि कहाँ पे तो बोलते मुंबई में ही रहते रहेंगे ही वॉज सो कॉन्फिडेंट सो मैंने अभी तक तो उसको बताया नहीं है ये पॉडकास्ट देखने के बाद उसको पता चल जाएगा कि मैम रहते हैं शिकागो में और आ, वो पहले इंडिया में रहते थे तो उसके बारे में मैम बताइए कि आप इंडिया में जब थे और शिकागो की जर्नी इंडिया से शिकागो की जर्नी क्या थी ओके सो सैंकी मेरी हिंदी और मेरी मराठी इतनी अच्छी नहीं है वह जो मैं एक्सप्रेस हिंदी में कर सकूं या अच्छे वर्ड्स यूज के करके ना एक्सप्रेस कर सकूं सो आई स्पीक इन इंग्लिश यस दैट्स मोर माय फ्लुएंट लैंग्वेज ऑफ चॉइस सो या आई थिंक आई गॉट मैरिड 2001 राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई केम टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स बिकॉज़ माय हस्बैंड वाज सेटल्ड हियर विद अ जॉब so okay. that's my journey uh, in to the united states after 2001 but before that i am a girl from bangalore um i did my uh, mba uh, you know in strategy marketing and i had a i have a degree in bachelor's in hospitality management so hotel management uh, is what i did or um, Six, seven years, you know, I worked with companies, uh, tech companies, hospitality industry, or वहाँ से I basically got all my you know public relations experience because I am very very good at you know people uh, networking and people skills, right? Yeah. But uh, I think deep down, I always wanted to do something with art. You know, like I always wanted to like just dabble in some way, and I was doing that. 
as a hobby artist in uh, watercolors. So I used to do like uh, abstract watercolors uh, in my past time while I had a job. Okay. So that's how I kind of was very uh, into art, but not full on because obviously either you do it full time or you don't do it full time, right? So, so but I was always exposed uh, thanks to my father, my late father. He was an IPS officer. He was a uh, uh, IGP uh, Bangalore at the time, and he's he was really a hobby artist, but a very serious hobby hobby artist. He would every day sketch, draw, and paint in watercolors. Draw these phenomenal. Um, imaginative women he would out of his head he would just make up these beautiful faces um figures uh, completely no references right so that's how i grew up watching him make these amazing sketches okay but somehow he wasn't a teacher like he didn't know okay i you know my daughter is interested a little in art i should teach her it was never that i would just watch him so i grew up knowing through him and thanks to him I learned about artists like um, uh, John Singer Sargent, uh, Soroya, you know, all these European artists. So when you said my work is a little Euro, like, you know, it's very outside, it's not Indian inspired, it's more Western. The way I paint is primarily because when I was a 12 year old, I was exposed to such art. I was exposed to these books and, you know, art books that had all these paintings. But and now, you know, but now you have added your Indian flow in your paintings. Okay. I, I guess from a third person point of view, it's good to know what you think too. But yeah, so I suppose over the years, that's how it transitioned. Um, but really, I think uh, my first achievement, uh, Sanki, I don't think you know this, or maybe you've read about it, but I was nine and a half, ten years old. And there was, you know, the camel, jo company hai na, art, artist, uh, art, uh, uh, art supplies. Yeah. Haan, camel uh, organized a all, uh, I think it was under 14, all international or all India contest. And out of that, uh, they choose, chose, I think, two, two Indians okay. uh, to take part in an international competition, art contest organized by UNESCO. Uh, with Nippon Telecommunication, which is a Japanese telecommunications company. So they had this uh, collaboration in a all like an international in, uh, art contest. And each child was representing their country. Okay. So I got picked for it. Oh. Uh, 86 May. So now you can tell you, you can say now how old I am. I'm like a fossil. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, that's when I represented India for this painting contest. And I was a huge feather in my cap because little, you know, I was all 10 years old. And then I had uh, 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 interview with the, you know, uh, our, uh, one of the channels in India. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was a radio, I mean, it was a radio interview. And uh, what I had designed, what I painted yeah. was um, an Apple watch. Ye wala. Ye watch jo hai. Yeah. I had designed it when I was a little, 10 year old because the topic of competition was telephones of tomorrow yeah. and um, and like all children you know I mean what do you draw when you you know you hear this topic, right so it was something to do with technology that's that's much I could figure out but I had no idea like which way to go because all the other contestants all the other you know children were painting like pink telephones with like flowers on them and you and I was drawing this really ugly hand with a wrist watch and I made up this uh, uh, basically the, exactly this corner you know rounded square design yeah. and it had and that time it was you know 86 the Doordarshan it was the yeah. first time we had like, a TV and we, we in our family we got a black and white TV that time okay. and um, Doordarshan ki wo jo anchor hoti thi na. so uh -huh. th since then that was my first portrait I drew so in that watch I drew four corners quadrants Okay. And each quadrant, I had different technology. So I had a calculator. And that time, Japanese were inventing the Seiko watch. You know, the digital watch, the first digital watch. So I read about it in the Time magazine. So uspe se oh idea, you know, uh, flesh out ho gaya. Or I said, okay, like, then let me put an anchor, you know, news anchor. Then let me put another, like a talkie, walkie-talkie device. Because my father was a police officer. And he used to have walkie-talkies. Yeah. So then I said, let me put a walkie-talkie in it. I had like a biology dry diagram with arrows explaining what is it, what is it. It was anything but artistic. It was a very like, 
you know, very scientific sort of a uh, diagram. So anyway, uh, of course, my my grandmother at the time, she was an artist as well, a hobbyist, and she was really upset. She's saying, "Ye kya bana ke aayi hai? You know, you're painting me ki hai. Some, you know, she's so from that to like that journey uh, of me showing some flicker of hope in my artistic career. I think after that, ten, I was ten years old, and then straight after I was married, which is uh, I was almost twenty seven. so nothing in between with art except few things here and there but then when i came here i kind of decided ki i and i'd lost my father at the same time uh, and he really believed that i had some talent and you know he said kuch karna chahiye you have to wasting time kya mba kiya hai kya job you know you do this full time you know? okay he is saying that okay, not you huh? he is saying that he said that literally on the last day like when i saw him in india because he passed away 6 months after that he was in the icu when i had this conversation with him and i had to fly back out unfortunately visa you know us ye wo so i that the last words were of his were suchi stop wasting your time and just paint because you are very talented you have something i couldn't do it because he had plans that you know after your marriage you go to the us i'll come there i'll retire i'll paint with you we'll have an exhibition ye kare ye karenge wo karenge you know it was like a thing but anyway yeah. so that stuck in my head yeah thank you so i said okay then i guess you know i should do something because i do like it but abhi you know almost 30 years old like younger kids who are so much more talented i wanted to do, like there's no way i was going to do like another five year program डूंग Yeah. and then my uh, mentor who is jeremy lipking you know his paintings well actually through his magazine mag- magazine article i came to know about richard schmidt aapko malum hi hai na richard schmidt uh, he's a american painter right uh, no more so his work my father used to collect his uh, cuttings and his articles in the a magazine mm-hmm. so i was exposed to that name so one thing led to another and when i saw it was like my dad was sending me these signs you know like get into this field more and more in, in depth yeah. uh, and i came across this magazine article okay. of richard schmidt and i said my god is the same person same name that my dad used to collect in his file folder he has a art binder and usme it was richard schmidt and i said i should totally find out who this man is if he's teaching if he's so then i started pursuing that how I le- it led me to jeremy lipking and okay. jeremy was teaching workshops at the time okay so maine kaha theek hai i guess i'll just take a couple of workshops and see where this goes and my husband is like a sweetheart he was he said take two years off aap jo bhi chahiye kar lo if you don't pull it off you always have your mba or degree or experience and you can come back in first of all is he indian or foreigner no 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 he's a punjabi yeah 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 okay so now you are nri <laughs> uh, well i half the time i'm in india i keep visiting home every year so it's like really nothing it's just love for both the countries thank you okay <laughs> the country has given me the opportunity so the, to answer your question my journey from india to chicago yeah. i think well we've been in california we've been in we moved because of my husband he i i follow him like a little puppy everywhere he goes because i can set up my studio anywhere I, it's not a big deal um but uh, so we've been we moved around a bit but i now we are in chicago i love it here uh, i think this country has really given me an opportunity that no no other place could have done it for me i think everywhere it's all you know it's all about which school have you gone to have you are you a graduate you're a school graduate who do you know you know what network and and i think that's that's what I, that's the stories i've heard from indian artists as well okay. um i think for me uh, from the 
contrast and comparing comparing two stories of people back in india and here mm -hmm. i think the fact that i had the opportunity to meet the right people uh, to work hard of course and the fact that everything here is so merit based it's all about you know you you take part in a competition it's all you you know you you're the one who stands out because of you and that i think the country has definitely you know fared well for me so i i feel debt indebted to being here as well for the all the opportunity i've got here pakka <laughs> ऑसम सो मैंने कुछ स्क्रिप्ट बना के रखी है कुछ सात आठ क्वेश्चन आपने तो बोला था इम्प्रोम टू है ये स्क्रिप्ट नहीं है मैं ऐसे शान से थोड़े से बैठा और आपका जो लिंक है इंस्टाग्राम में तो उसमें जाके मैंने बायो देखा क्योंकि जो आर्टिस्ट आ रहे हैं उनका उनके बारे में कुछ तो चीजें पता होने चाहिए ना तो उसी वजह से मैंने तब देखा शिकागो में रहते हो बैंगलोर में आप रहे हो और अभी आप यहाँ पे हो <laughs> शो पे तो यहाँ पे टॉपिक कौन सा ले सो so दैट मैं जब ये अपलोड करूंगा वीडियो तो फिर वहां पर मुझे कुछ तो एक पॉइंट किस बारे में ये वीडियो है तो एक कैप्शन डालना पड़ता है सो so, मैंने काफी सारे सोचने के बाद एक टॉपिक Uh, ये किया फाइनलाइज किया वो टॉपिक है फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट लाइफ ओके सो अभी आप फॉरेन में हो आप इंडियन आर्टिस्ट हो तो इंडियन आर्टिस्ट की जो फॉरेन में जो लाइफ है उसके बारे में हम इस पॉडकास्ट में बात करेंगे आपके बारे में तो बात करेंगे ही प्लस उसके साथ एक फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट की एक क्यूरियसिटी होती है इंडियन uh, आर्टिस्ट को के फॉरेन uh, में जब आर्टिस्ट जाता है तो वहां पे क्या क्या सीखने को मिलता है वहां पे क्या क्या अलग अलग अपॉर्चुनिटीज uh, होती है क्योंकि uh, सारे आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स जो होते हैं वो uh, एक इंस्टाग्राम पे या फिर सोशल मीडिया पे देखते हैं कि ना बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट वर्कशॉप्स uh, लेने जाते हैं कंडक्ट करते हैं फॉरन में तो फिर उनको वहां पे कैसे चांस मिलता है वहां पे कंडक्ट करने का हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा फ्यूचर में तो फिर वो सारी चीजें हम इस पॉडकास्ट में बात करेंगे सो यस व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक Yeah, the topic is very interesting. Definitely a good angle and a very uh, inform. It could be very informative. Yes, for a lot. It of will help uh, uh, other students also. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, please tell me, uh, abhi, uh, abhi, आपके साथ आपके uh, life में क्या चल रहा है? Well, um, abhi to okay. These are my read reading glasses. To only look at you, I have to see because if I yeah, yeah, no problem. This also yeah. looks beautiful. No, no, it's not about beauty, Baba. It's it's about like. After your for towards for fifty, na, it's yeah. like near far. Yeah, it's like it's jumping. But anyway, I, I think I'll just get them off. It'll be easier for me to think and talk. Um, so I think at this like right, currently, what I'm doing is um, working a lot of commissions projects. So like portrait commissions. Portrait. Um, yeah, portrait commissions from actually from clients in India. So um, ironically. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> yeah here also there's a lot of people who do portrait i mean who get who like to get portraits done but i think for me since covid i mean things have changed a little actually through covid it's been very busy my work has really picked up i think for a lot of artists as you were hai ghar baith ke sab you know it's like paise uh, you're either saving money uh, no where to spend so you kind of redoing your homes and you know you buy art so a lot of uh, that trend has uh, affected me which is in a good way um so i've been busy to sort of you know i mean ever ever since i also put like i mean i normally don't talk about sales or any you know and like i sold my painting and red dot yeah all that mai i'm not into that waha pe red dot hota hai matlab wo wo sab hota hai red dot galleries mein okay मुझे लगा हम इंडियन है जो बिंदी यहाँ पे लगाते हैं वो पेंटिंग में लगाते रहेंगे सो बेसिकली मुझे कोई आइडिया नहीं है मतलब मैंने जब गैलरीज में जाना शुरू किया बचपन से और मेरे तरह काफी सारे जो देखने वाले रहेंगे उनके साथ भी वही हुआ रहेगा उसके पीछे का जो साइकोलॉजी है वो हमें पता नहीं है कि वो बिंदी ही क्यों लगाते हैं Yeah, well, even I don't really know that. Uh, it's, it's a good fun fact to find out, but I mean, sold essentially means like just you know the red. I guess it's a stop, right? Stop sign, yeah. uh, which means that's it. You know, business is closed. It's not up for sale. Maybe that's something to do with that. I mean, logically thinking. Um, but I think for uh, going back to like just this, um, uh, uh, I guess the whole process of how art works here, it's mm -hmm. very similar to what happens in India as well. Okay. It's just a little more 
organized here i would think i would say it's a little more professional yeah. right uh, from what i've i've when I, i exchange a lot of stories with my best friend pramod uh, kurlekar who yeah. tells me things about how in india it works and so that's the only comparison i have from what i hear yes. uh, and and you know pramod of course you know is he lives there and he's part of the system i have never sold my work or had a gallery show in india so i really don't know but i think the contrast from what i understand there's definitely a you know space for representational artists and uh, you know there are galleries that uh, you know do the same thing charge commissions take a certain percentage uh, have shows for you and i think india there's a lot of like deep pockets and so gallery owners either they are really in touch with the high fi crowd and yeah. they know all these big names and deep pockets so they have these you know shoot like complete bollywood style like opening right yes. which brings in a lot of name fame money and then you you know it's like you just need that one event which is like star star started event right yeah. that's what i hear i mean I, and i see also through uh, like my in-laws are from delhi so you know they get invited to a lot of art exhibits and all really like you know satish gujral he wo big big names yeah so i kind of know from that whole th- and what happens uh, in uh, in uh, foreign how they exhibit and how they market correct. their paintings and exhibitions correct so uh, so in, in in the us what i have noticed is there's no like you don't really like know i, I artist itself we don't know any people especially for me like i'm a you know i'm that you know an immigrant and i've come here for i'm pretty i mean now i've been here for 20 years but when i started my career which was like probably about 2008 when i had my first gallery show right uh, i obviously didn't know anybody and it was pretty much the gallery doing its thing but i just felt like maybe um right place right time not sure how you know universal forces coincide but i had definitely about good four five galleries wanting my work when i first launched myself which is a good sign so i knew that you know at least there is some like gallery who's want this newcomer you know and i was completely a newcomer not a young newcomer older newcomer but a newcomer so so so, so it was like that was my equation with the market so uh, and then this indian girl you know all that so very different so i don't really you know sanki it's a very interesting question you ask because i really uh, for me this there are two aspects of this conversation i want to discuss yeah. one is the fact that i'm i'm indian i i mean i'm indian and i came here not knowing anyone and then suddenly six years after my hard work and all that you know self teaching i launch myself and then there's this you know opportunities are open up now i don't know if it was like a, you know the situation where you are slightly different or you know it's a different race different sort of a face different um energy vibe whatever you call it uh, i think that time it was they were ready for a new person and you, so it was it felt like that was my okay. you know the time frame when i came in like the phony indian who a girl who was on the you know scene as far as representation at that time at the time i think it was that right place right time so i had a lot of galleries like literally like texting me or whatever and asking saying can you show us with this show ye show so that's how and, and i think this juried competition so that's very little different from indian uh uh pattern that i've seen so and a lot of young indian artists write to me on instagram and i always tell them that that if you have an opportunity to like um get yourself into juried shows you know where you have competitions yeah. you know I, i don't know much about india the india competition scene right now but at least 10 years back kuch nahi tha i don't know if there was any serious uh juried you know like a big prize big um splash for your career kind of a launching pad so here it's that's that's a, that's a huge part of the circuit like having your name in these juried competitions like uh, you know american impressionist society is one society there's a portrait society there's a pastel society i mean it's like all these and very high level serious organizations that if you are associated with them you you're like you're pretty much a career's made you know if you if you get in there if you get launched then obviously the media sees you they write about you you get noticed so that's a great stepping stone for a person from anywhere coming into the us and it's open to anyone like really it's not open to it's only americans or passport holders none of that you know it's just like open for all so that's a great way to like get into the thing so this this system here is all about merit right so if you get noticed you get a first place or you get a grand prize 
mm-hmm. or even like the first five place awards you get written about and that's what happened to me so i written about in all these american art collector ye wo whatever magazines and then i got noticed that when your work gets noticed and galleries call you because they want to work they want business they they rely on artists right that's their that's half their income yeah. so then this goes scouting for artists so so that's how my situation like from getting noticed to getting into galleries and then mm-hmm. doing shows we then doing group shows with other artists collaborating with other artists and now it's now it's been a what like 2008 to now you know so it's been a good amount of time that i've invested uh being in the circuit and uh, you know and, and like off late like i've been taking serious portrait commissions for uh, people who've been able to afford them want them um it's not a big uh, in investment of time for me but i like to do it all because i don't want to get caught up in uh, you know just one stream like a portrait artist hair yeah and landscape artist hair you know i want to do everything so yeah okay okay so yeah i i'm so i'm i hope i'm staying with the, your question yes yes absolutely aapne to agla wala bhi question usme le liya jo indian artist hota hai Uh, यहाँ पे जो उसकी सुबह और उसकी रात ये इसके बीच में वो जो काम करता है वो अलग होता है और एक फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट कैसे काम करता है उसका डेली कैसे रूटीन होता है वो थोड़ा बताइए कि एक फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट की लाइफ कैसी होती है उसकी सुबह से लेकर रात तक कि भाई वो क्या करता है इंडियन आर्टिस्ट के तो पता नहीं no matter which really i'm telling you i'm not spoken to everybody there's no such thing as foreign artist and indian artist okay. now i have my good friends of scott burdick uh, jeremy lip king you know michelle danaway all these are my good friends i talk, i mean i you know i am in touch with them i meet them and from what i've spoken i mean we all the same what we do here and from the indian artists i've spoken to and we all have a life personal life yeah we all have to juggle the same nonsense every day you know uh sensible things non sensible things okay. okay we all we all have to do the it's all the same really i mean i think it's very humbling to know that to be honest because yeah. i don't think there's like oh you know just because we live here you know we have a one up than uh, artists living in somalia or wherever I, no it's i think it all comes down to your earnest level of passion like your 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 deep seated hunger for what you want to do that day right like mm-hmm. how you want to make the most of that day some days like i don't get the time to even do a sketch because i've like com- over committed to other paperwork admin stuff or whatever like my my husband used to really help me with my website uh, and marketing and evo initially like wo pehla pehla pyar jo bolte hai na like when i would just got into my yes, art yes. career yeah. okay Uh, he was like all over it you know okay i'll manage this for you don't worry i'll app yeah send out these circulars this that that your news newsletter abhi kuch nahi because he's so busy with work he's got into his thing okay. and now i pretty much have to do it myself so sometimes i'm lazy and sometimes and i just don't have the time to do everything so and anyway i'm not a big paperwork person like anything you tell me to do with excel and you know like <laughs> word i just want to run away the other way i'm more that person I rather uh, do my cooking and painting. I the two activities that I love. Like I love cooking and eating. Like for me, food is a big part of my creative process. Like if I'm tired after like say eight hours of painting, I can get. I can just get off and come to my uh, kitchen and start making Hyderabadi biryani. Like okay. I am. That's what that, it gives me a very relaxed mode. You know, chopping, cutting, all that. So that's who I am. Okay. So some days, uh, you know, it's you. You wake up. I mean, I've been very disciplined. Definitely, I think I should. Uh, I mean, I I don't give myself enough credit. Uh, I keep calling myself lazy because I kind of can be lazy. But I love uh, being in that space where, with my career, I have made carved out a niche. Or I think it's only possible if you. uh decide seriously to yourself what your, your purpose right like what is your purpose and what's what what is it going to be how you're going to spend the next 20 years uh mm-hmm. making it count and something to show for right i'm all about that uh yeah. not in a big rush to like win awards and become famous and rich none of that nonsense at all mm-hmm. uh i think it's more about 20 years down okay i should look back and say okay you know what this is what i achieved my time i'm 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 happy with that right so i think that's more my personal goals and i am always like setting up personal goals and i'm always competing with myself 
I, I don't compete with anyone, anybody externally ever. That's my next question. I just wanted to ask. Uh, here in India, the artist here. Our here. I live in Mumbai, and I uh, have different art colleges in the past. So we know yeah. about uh, uh, Indian uh, famous jo artist here. Here, there are Vasudev Kamath sir. There are also different artists. Artist uh, I have talked to many artists. So these are the names of all of them. वो हमारे कॉलेज में है ना ऐसे ही पास होते रहते हैं सबसे और उनके बारे में हमें पता चलता है तो हम उनके काम देख के इंस्पायर होते हैं तो आप कौन से आर्टिस्ट के आप अभी फॉरेन में रहते हो तो अभी आप को आप कौन से आर्टिस्ट को देख के इंस्पायर होते हो कि नहीं आज थोड़ा मूड नहीं है मेरा पेंडिंग करने का बट सडनली यू सॉ सम आर्टिस्ट वर्क और यू गेट इंस्पायर ऐसे कुछ होता है आपके साथ I think mood to hota hai every day to paint, to be honest. Mood, there's never a thing like, oh, I have mood nahi hai painting. I, I think ever since I decided that I'm not going to be a mother, but I'm going to be an artist, full-time female artist, like, you know, that's all I'm going to do the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I, I, I have to, I struggle with that, like not being able to paint because I want to paint so badly, but I have to, other things to do. So mood ka to problem nahi hai. So I think it's more... Um, uh, who do I, uh, who am I inspired? What inspires me to get into that space? I think just the books that I have, like, I, I know I'm a little boring, but I love, I've always had this love affair with, you know, John Singer Sargent's work. Like I, since a child, his paintings like blow my mind even now, like after seeing them a hundred times, I'm still obsessed. And, but, um, but there are few, uh, you know, like period painters that I've discovered and I've really like, I mean, just over the years, um, Emile Freon, Bastien Lepage, all these French impressionists. I, I, in fact, we have a beautiful art museum just down the road here. I just wanted to ask you that also, that uh, you have seen paintings in real life? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, that's one thing, you know, which, which I know from Pramod, because I know in India, one doesn't get to see the John Singer sergeants and the likes. So whenever he comes here, visits us, we make it a point to go visit like all the museums that are, I mean, where we can make it out and just go and, you know, like, all the uh, um, in New York, or uh, Chicago. So this is after I moved here, I discovered the Chicago Museum. But New York, the Metropolitan Art Museum is fantastic. Has like a whole room of John Singer Sargent's. So, yes. so just yeah, yeah. I mean, the, uh, for me, I think that's what I do. Yeah, Sank- Sank- uh, Sanket. I actually go to the museum whenever I need like a bit of a push to think little differently. Box. So just get inspired. I think I, I just like literally walk up. It's 15 minutes of walk. I walk up to the museum and I just walk into the room and I'm just standing there looking at these beautiful paintings and uh, yeah, just deconstructing them, understanding the energy behind it, uh, all that. So for me, I think like being in the presence of real art, I think for me is inspiring for sure. Let's talk about uh, Indian jo, uh... यहाँ पे exhibitions होते हैं जो अलग-अलग museums हैं यहाँ पे आपने वो visit किए हैं मुंबई में या फिर कहीं पे भी इंडिया में Yeah I think I there's one in Aund Okay where in Aund No no Mara Okay okay हाँ there is one museum I forget no it's been so long um, we'd gone there once तुला माहित नहीं का Aund में दे I think there's a uh, Museum there? Do you know? Not know of it? You haven't heard of it? But मुझे पन मला आउटडेल तुम्हें मराठी बोल लेला। Like okay, we we try करते हैं। मुझे मुझे words नहीं English मराठी बोलते हैं। Okay. Uh, इतना टाइम हुआ है कि मराठी में uh, किसी ने सुना भी नहीं रहेगा आई थिंक तो अभी मैम मराठी में बात करेंगे और मी अनि मी पण मराठी मध्येच बोलणार आहे मग माझं माझं बोलणं जरा असं हळू जाय हां प्रयत्न करून थिंक काय माहिती आहे अदर लँग्वेजेस वाले जे असतात ना ते जेव्हा मराठी बोलतात तेव्हा ते अजून क्यूट आणि छान वाटतं आम्हाला ऐकायला क्यूट सो माहित नाही पण माझी माझी मिस्टेक झाले की माफ करा so, Tham, Delhi Made Kutlam Museum La Galile. I think uh, it's the, the one in um, NGM. I mean, the National Museums, right? The National Gallery. Yeah, National Museums. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, the, 
तिकडे गेलेली आहे बट नॉट लाईक मेनी म्युझियम आय डोंट रिकॉल बिकॉज यु नो माझं इंडियाची विजिट आयदर सासऱ्यांकडे असत नाहीतर माझ्या आईच्या घरे अँड दोस टू सिटीज आर प्रिटी मच कवर बँगलोर डेली आणि मग इकडे तिकडे वॉट एव्हर पेंटिंगचे ट्रिप्स असतात पण नाही जास्त आठव आठवेना झालंय मला गेले असेन पण आय डोंट थिंक आय रिमेंबर ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ माय हेड कुठले म्युझिक असे पण इकडचे जे आहेत ना सांगायचं तर एक काय ऑफ कलेक्शन आता आता आपण हिंदी मध्ये किंवा इंग्लिश मध्ये बोलू बिकॉज जे युपी और अदर स्टेट मधले असतात ना ओके लेट मी त्यांना नाही पडणार स्टूडियो दिखाता हूँ उनसे जो जो नॉर्मल सी बातें होती है वो तो उनके लैंग्वेज में ही वो कम्फर्टेबल होते है दिखाने के लिए की ये मेरा स्टूडियो है ये अच्छा मराठी में अगर रहेंगे तो मराठी में बात करें फिर भी वहां से कमेंट आता है कि हिंदी में बात करो हमें देखना है हमें बहुत मजा आता है सो so, अभी इसके आगे बहुत अच्छा था आपका मराठी और सबको बहुत पसंद आया होगा हिंदी में करते हैं मुंबई में आके म्यूजियम डिस्कवर किए हो गया नहीं रे नहीं मैं नहीं बॉम्बे का मुंबई का नहीं मैंने नहीं देखा है ओके और प्रमोद सर कहाँ पे रहते हैं इंडिया में सीजन सातारा ओके 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 Yeah. So I mean I when I visited Bombay as just to visit them and the family and that's it. I I didn't really stay long enough to it was more like you know I was landing and taking off from Mumbai na. So then I, that's how I ended up being in Bombay. But you know I mostly is Bangalore. So Bangalore may you know there's there's no like huge art museums even in Bangalore. I mean at the time when I was young tabhi ham Mysore jaate the. Mysore ki jo wo palace hai na wo Vadiar palace वहां की जो पोर्ट्रेट एंड राजा रवि वर्मा के पे पेंटिंग्स आई थिंक वहां पे है ना दो ब्यूटिफुल वो वो मुझे मुझे याद है पर बैंगलोर में इतने एक है आई फगेट द नेम ऑफ दैट म्यूजियम इट हैड इट हैड लाइक ऑल द इंडियन कंटेम्प्री आर्टिस्ट आई रिमेंबर लाइक अंजली मैन एंड वासुदेव जी देर वॉज अनदर गाय फॉर वासुदेव जी फ्रॉम बैंगलोर then there was a the what is his name there couple of I mean, there's a lot more and even of course your uh, the oh i'm forgetting all the names uh, amrita shergill her paintings were hanging yeah 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 her story is also in, very inspiring she is she is and i think bangalore mein ek hi tha i don't remember any more इफ यू कम टू मुंबई ना इन फ्यूचर आपको है ना लाइन में पहले जहांगीर जहांगीर आर्ट गैलरी लगेगा जहांगीर तो गई हूँ बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट उसके आगे एक छत्रपति म्यूजियम है आर्ट म्यूजियम तो वहां पे वो बहुत बड़ा है अच्छा वो कहाँ है जहांगीर से है ना दो मिनट चल के ही आगे है ओके अच्छा उसका नाम क्या है छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज आर्ट म्यूजियम आई थिंक ऐसा है प्रॉपर ऐसा फुल नेम तो वो बहुत बड़ा है लाइक उससे बड़ा आई थिंक इंडिया में है या नहीं मुझे पता नहीं बट मुंबई में सबसे बड़ा म्यूजियम गवर्नमेंट म्यूजियम वो है और वहां पे फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट के भी बहुत बड़े बड़े जो पेंटिंग्स होते हैं ना जो या ह्यूमन साइज से भी बहुत बड़े डबल या फिर ट्रिपल साइज के फॉरन पेंटिंग्स है और लैंडस्केप्स है और वहां पे स्कल्पचर्स भी रखे हुए हैं पूरे इंडिया में जो भी बुद्धा के स्टैचूज रहेंगे या फिर एलिफेंट और शिवा स्टैचूज बहुत से तो पूरा वो एक म्यूजियम है सिर्फ आर्ट आर्ट अबाउट पेंटिंग्स का नहीं है वो ऑल अबाउट आर्ट है तो उसके साथ और दो मिनट आगे चल के जाओगे तो वहां पे एनजीओ में है जो नेशनल गैलरी है और वहां पे भी जो रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव होता है आर्टिस्ट का तो वहां प्रमोद ने मुझे वहां हाँ मुझे अभी याद आ रहा है इट्स बिन या इट्स बिन वाइल आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिमेंबर दिन वो नेम्स नहीं आ रहे बट या आई रिमेंबर द नेशनल गैलरी वो वो गए वहां पे जो लाइटिंग है ना मतलब मैंने आज तक मैं आई थिंक मुंबई के बाहर के गैलरीज नहीं देखा हूँ बट अगर मुंबई ही सबसे जो रहता है ना आर्थिक राजधानी 
वो मुंबई को जानते बोलते हैं तो जो एनजे में है उसमें जो लाइटिंग की क्वालिटी होती है ना वो काफी जबरदस्त होती है क्योंकि वो जो पेंटिंग्स को शो करते हैं ना सिर्फ पेंटिंग दिखती है पीछे के वॉल्स कुछ नहीं दिखते सो वो एक खासियत है कि पेंटिंग्स काफी अच्छे से दिखते हैं उसमें नाइस ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम आई थिंक आई पे अ लिटिल क्लोजर अटेंशन मुझे याद नहीं है जगह गई थी मैं जहांगीर डेफिनेटली गई हूं um and there's also a lot of art shows but i think when i was there uh who art camp or art show jo hota hai na uh, india art show i think that was going on that time okay kala ghoda kala ghoda i think nehru nehru center okay nehru center yeah wahan gayi hu but okay next time i'll try and remember this uh, yes 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 kyunki line mein hi hai aapka ek din mein pura ghoom ke ho jayega teeno galleries yes okay yeah Yes, yes, yes. और आई थिंक आप आ रहे हो ना मुंबई में आई थिंक नेक्स्ट आई बी डाउन इन फैक्ट आई बी प्लानिंग अ वर्कशॉप सो दिस वेयर आई दिस अ गुड वे फॉर मी टू लाइक गेट माय वर्क वी आर प्लानिंग अ वर्कशॉप इन इन द नॉर्थ सो वी स्टिल हैवंट ऑल द वन द डिटेल्स वुड बी फाइनलाइज्ड बट वी आर लुकिंग एट अप्रैल ओके फर्स्ट first two weeks of april is when we're looking at in the north of india is a beautiful city and a beautiful destination uh, workshop yes. so the planning to do a kbr hamara wo collaboration hai na kurlekar aur bhosle yes it's yes. a for kurlekar b for bhosle but k for knowledge b for beyond aapke bare mein dono ke bare mein thode bataiye na ki where you guys met for the first time We actually met because of Scott Burdick and मेरे यहाँ जो friends है artist friends, we they were doing a painting trip. Okay. So uh, they were invited by Pramod Kurlekar when Pramod was here for one of his award ceremonies for the Potter Society of America. Yes, yes. And I didn't know Pramod. I didn't know Pramod Pramod uh, face to face or personally at the time. Mm-hmm. And we just knew each other as Facebook friends. Okay. and uh, i had texted him you know a couple of times on facebook saying oh we had a good, uh, this is like 2008 9 tab ki baat hai mm-hmm. and i never ever got a response from him you know he, <laughs> i i saw i saw i said seen i said i'd sent him a hello i'm an artist from uh, uh, tab mai california mein thi to mai california mein hu either the blah 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 and i said very beautiful paintings uh, promote and i kind of knew he was younger than me so you know i was kind of addressing him like promo then whatever okay. but ye to bandha like he totally ignored me. he he and i can see it's red and usne uh, respond nahi kiya to theek hai pata nahi indian artist aise you know like uh, nose up in the air honge pata nahi big bada artist hai all that so i had this impression about him to chalo he is never going to respond to me mm-hmm. again i think he won he he uh, he got final as a finalist he came for another event So yeah. I text him again saying hello uh, I am uh, so and so and I think I'd written to you a while back but congratulations and anything you need in the US if you want to come this way to uh, West Coast me and my husband we'd love to host you and blah 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 I think you was a big fan of I I was I mean I we followed each other and he also followed and we were we were Facebook friends okay. and paintings we were comments dalta tha wo you know like okay lovely but he's you know, not replying <laughs> but he's not responding so, okay so like kya baat ho gaya wo i mean i don't know this is maybe a indian man you know indian girl maybe he's like shy maybe he's is reserved so that's it chalo it doesn't matter cuz i make friends with everybody so okay. i was like okay chalo i maybe some day some maybe once i go to india i'll you know contact him yeah, yeah. so then my trip to india and i was about to leave for india and uh, and i'd seen that he had got a, a new uh, studio or something he had you know inaugurated as as a kuch tha i said it'll be lovely if i'm you know i'm going to mumbai i'd love to meet him you know just usual like how artists mujhe bhi aise hi likhte hain aur the ma'am you know i'm coming to chicago would would be would be love to you know see your studio so all that and i'm always happy to you know entertain these requests yeah. depending on situation of course so i said uh, chalo let me write and but nothing again <laughs> okay okay ye to you know total rejection now hota. i am feeling <laughs> sad for you <laughs> you know hota hai na sometimes you some people so so the reason i'm giving you all this background is a very funny story yeah so after became we became friends he tells me 
he said you know you were very like you know you lipstick laga ke you were glamorous looking you know aapke sab wo facebook ki photos aur launches of jeremy looking iske sath wine glass leke so i thought you know you're very high high five i have nothing common with you and all so he obviously had a little a different mindset about me so he was a little like okay chalo you know ye hamari bas ki whatever and he didn't even know i was maharashtrian like speaking in marathi speaking all that so when i was here on um, with scott burdick and susan lyon one function yeah so scott and they had got an invitation from promo then he they said uh, suchi we'd love for you to come to india with us I said okay i said love I mean, where where are you guys planning uh, like a painting trip okay. i said oh, i'd love love to i'd love to and we were thinking about this anyway for a long time so i said okay i'd love to come for a painting trip uh, rajasthan chalenge okay chalo chalo so then they made all these plans we said no the promoter has invited us and uh, it'll be so nice if you can come so suddenly when i heard promoter's name i said i said you know i you know you i think it's better you ask promoter for liquor that let him know i'm coming because i don't think he is very fond of me so <laughs> then they, they said why i was like I, when i gave them the whole you know story as a three times i've hit on him like nothing uh, no response kuch nahi aaya I said no, no, no. We'll talk to him, and he'll be happy. Oh, come on, come on. We, you know, we love you, Suchi. We, I'm sure everybody likes will like you. I yeah. said, so I said, okay, chalo, let's see what he says. Okay, so then they make a group on Facebook, and they don't tell him. They don't. They didn't mention to him that I'm coming. Okay. And we're booking. Okay, it's all okay. I'm thinking, of course, he knows, right? Yeah. So then they made a Facebook group of all of us, you know, to like uh, coordinate the itinerary and landing. Yeah, go sab yeah. traveling. So there suddenly I'm tapoed and then you know promote the uh, promote the Miri uh, uh, text dekhi and apparently he was shocked. He, he then told me all this later. He said I was like, मुझे he then he then he told me he said I had so much tension you know ये अंग्रेज लोग like you know as in Americans आ रहे हैं अंग्रेजी बोल and he's not a English speaking primary English speaking guy yeah. so he was already very stressed about this. कि यू नो वो उसके विलेज में आ रहे हैं उसकी खातरा खातरी कर रही है ये करनी है ऑल दैट एंड ऊपर से ये हाई मेंटेनेंस इंडियन गर्ल हु आई डोंट रियली वांट अराउंड ये भी आ रही है सो फुल टेंशन में था ये तो फिर आई लैंडेड देयर एंड देन दैट्स व्हेन द वर्कशॉप वाज लाइक इट वाज अ फाइव डे पेंटिंग लाइक अ इवेंट ही ऑर्गेनाइज्ड फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस and you know when i landed in india because the uh, scott burick and these people landed earlier and i went two days later so and you know you know in the usual like celebratory fanfare typical pramod ko lekar ke style mein usne ye bell gaadi ki you know arrangement ki thi wo to to you know all those okay instruments and okay and the story oh, is oh, now oh, getting in- interesting yeah <laughs> Style, right, full okay. on, you know, like Jai Maharashtra. Jai Maharashtra. And uh, and he 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 had plans also. He said, "Chalo, I thought now Suchitra Bosle Kapoor is coming, so his copy like you have to. I don't know how it will be. What will his nakre be? All that. So he had this different impression of me. So anyway, I, I landed that day. I think it was a previous evening, and at from my mom's house in Bangalore. Usko maine phone kiya. So chalo, I'm going to meet him the next morning. Pune se flight thi ye wo. Um, I said, let me talk. Call him. Say hi. I said hello, and uh, he says uh, hello, and he said promote ka, and he said, and he was I think he was buying some car, garland, ऐसे कुछ next day की सेट, you know, function के लिए. So he said, hey, एक मिनट, you know, मराठी में बोला उसने, एक मिनट हाँ, and he thought it was one of his girlfriends, like friends, you know, from college or whatever. He said, ये एक मिनट हाँ, and uh, and I think I sounded like one of his friends. So I said, एक मिनट का दो मिनट हाँ. वेट करा लाउन कोर्स ओके सडनली ही गोज ही डज हिज बिजनेस कम्स बैक टू द फोन कौन बोलते एक यू नो कौन बोल रहा है ओके सुचित्रा भोसले एंड ही वाज लाइक पिन ड्रॉप साइलेंस फॉर लाइक 2 सेक लाइक 2 मिनट्स इन से अ वर्ड मतलब हेलो प्रमोद आयस का एंड ही इज लाइक तुम तुला मराठी है तो I said, of course, dude. I'm like Maharashtra. What do you think I am? So that's when the whole ice broke, and he was like, then he's then he first night when I showed up in Pune, uh, from Pune to Satara in his uh, place, and, and it was then like it was like the chemistry was like we were like best friends right from the word get go because my jokes were like he couldn't believe I 
क्रॅक जोक्स अँड आय एम लाईक स्पीकिंग अँड मराठी आणि इतकं ईज मध्ये आमची फ्रेंडशिप लाईक सडनली ब्लॉसम and there he had this whole different impression for tani you know so it became this whole thing like we became so close and for him and i was helping him manage the entire workshop and you know just organize things current english the problem hota tencha barobar then they you know scott burdick and unki jo kya eating habits ye won to kuch special cheeze arrange karne ke liye so meri help ho gayi promote so then that way it was very easy then of course then we did the whole maharashtra and uh you know like i missed the uh, i think the first day that he had this whole thing for the uh, for the as a welcome ceremony mm-hmm. i couldn't make it so then he organized one specially for me so i went to his house the i and sagre the you know the, the uh, sitting on the floor and eating chan the tamant the thali as you know decorated mm-hmm. and for a long like welcome kiya it was lovely it was like since then we've been like like बिछडे होय भाई और बहन टाइप नो ट्विन्स आई कॉल माय ट्विन सो या ऑसम व्हाट अ स्टोरी वाओ दिस दिस स्टोरी विल बी लाइक सेपरेट एपिसोड आई नो यू मस्ट यू मस्ट एंड बी नाइस टू हियर हिज साइड ऑफ द हाउस ही डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली ही उन्होंने अभी तक मुझे रिप्लाई नहीं दिया है बट आपके बाद वो गारंटीड वो आने ही वाले हैं पॉडकास्ट में I'll, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. He should also because, in fact, I, I was telling you right that we'll be there next year doing yeah. another workshop. Then maybe, maybe I mean, I'm, I'm considering visiting his family as well. I think Satara sometime yeah. around that time. So maybe you should come and do a little uh, of your. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Awesome. So, mm. so where are you? Are you in Mumbai? Yes, yes. I live in Mumbai, uh, in Thane. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. You mentioned Thane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, Pramod sir's fault is not. He also felt like that. He didn't know that you were in foreign. I just uh, asked my friends, uh, "Tell me just your favorite artist." So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told me that they were in Mumbai. So they told तो मैंने सोचा कि अरे यार इनसे तो पर्सनली मिल ही नहीं पाएंगे बट अभी ऑनलाइन तो करेंगे क्योंकि बहुत से दोस्तों ने मुझे बोला था कि ये हमारे फेवरेट आर्टिस्ट है तो मैं बोला पर्सनली नहीं तो मैं फेस टू फेस नहीं तो कम से कम ऑनलाइन तो बात कर ही सकते हैं और आप अगले साल तो आ रहे हो तो वहां पे भी हम पर्सनली मिलने की कोशिश करेंगे अरे मेरी मेरी तो मिस्टीरियस वो और निकल गई अभी अभी आई वॉन्ट टू की <laughs> आपका जो इंस्टाग्राम पे जो प्रोफाइल है उसमें जो आपने प्रोफाइल रखा है ना लिटरली दैट स्केयर्स मी प्लीज चेंज और ये इसमें से स्क्रीनशॉट ले लो इसमें बहुत आप हंस रहे हो प्रोफाइल किस प्रोफाइल की बात कर रहे हो फेसबुक वाली नहीं भाई नो डॉगी की है अबाउट खतरनाक डॉगी नहीं है ना ये क्यूट डॉगी है नो नो इंस्टाग्राम इंस्टाग्राम का फोटो मैं बोल रहा हूं अच्छा ओ या दैट वन इज वेरी ज़ूम्ड इन लाइक इतना सा ही दिखता रहेगा <laughs> तो जो हंसने वाला रहेगा ना वो रखो तो उसमें से आपका जो वाइबिंग जो रहता है ना वो समझ है ना वो अच्छी है मेरी मेरी मार्केटिंग के लिए वेरी गुड इट कीप्स अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु आई डोंट वांट टू कम इन क्लोज ओके नाइस नहीं इट जोकिंग जस्ट जोकिंग हां ओके हां सो लेट्स बैक ऑन आवर टॉपिक फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट लाइफ तो वहां पे जो आर्ट लाइफ जो आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स की लाइफ होती है वो कैसे होती है कभी आपने वर्कशॉप्स किए या फिर आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स से आप मिले हो वहां पे आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स एज एन जो जो मेरी वर्कशॉप लेते हैं वो वाली स्टूडेंट्स वो भी चलेगा जस्ट आर्ट स्टूडेंट जो वहां पे पेंटिंग करते प्रोफेशनली हां उनकी लाइफ कैसी होती है वो कैसे पेंटिंग करते हैं और उनका पैटर्न क्या होता है बेसिकली आई थिंक वो ही है लाइक फ्रॉम वॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम वेन आई जब मैं बातें करती हूँ उनसे आई थिंक सबकी आइदर दे आर स्टडिंग फुल वर्किंग फुल टाइम एंड दे आर स्टडिंग पार्ट टाइम राइट एंड बिकॉज यू नो यू हैव टू मेक मनी लाइक यू कॉन्ट यू हैव टू पे बिल्स एंड ऑल दैट ना सो यू हैव टू 
keep relevant so they carve out time for themselves and in fact i have actually given like a lot of talks to women artists um yeah. about how to manage time and uh, i mean different topic though about hormonal health and how to keep your emotional state uh you know intact because you know women tend to have a little more of a distraction in your you know physical uh, self your your environment around you either you're a wife you're a mother there's so many challenges and how do you keep yourself not straying away from the path of creating art every day right yeah. so yeah. un topic us topic mein mai zyada karke like i think i i talk about it like to a lot of the students and uh, from jo unse feedback milti hai i think they they more uh, stress on the fact that for them is very limited time so they have to make the most of uh, you know drawing sketching so they always ask me what's the best way to imp- for improvement yeah. so i think there uh, is where i tell them that you know every day find time carve, carve time out for like drawing you know sketching yeah. because it's hard and i coordination is what you are i mean the way i paint and the kind of style that i draw and paint in it's mm-hmm. all about hand eye coordination there's no uh tracing or gra- like drawing everything out detail it's all about paint as you go draw as you go so mm-hmm. wo jo meri advice lete hai to main unko wohi like batati hu ki mm-hmm. sketching roz karna is very important wo to like it's like prayer you know you have to do that take some time and do that that really so i it sounds like everybody is now when i come back after a few years they, they take workshops back with me and they always give me that feedback that you know our pattern of working has really helped thanks to you like we you know do this if no matter what time how much work load personally we have we carve out at one hour for sketching and drawing and then ho na ho you know through the day painting uh-huh. uh you know at least they are in touch with it every day because sometimes life gets in the way you know and it's not the same every day and it shouldn't be also i think wo jo hum pressure dalte hai na apne upar ki every day has to be productive every day you have to make a killer masterpiece aise kuch nahi hota you know you just have to your 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 life your day should revolve around art in some way or the other to keep relevant uh and art is really about like not just painting it's about you yourself and your life and your living right like you your 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 uh, it's a reflection of who you are apne jo andar ki hum hamari development hoti hai self ki wo apne painting mein nikal aati hai so it's like improving yourself through whatever it is you know your your discipline of uh, becoming a better version of yourself uh, if you're a religious person you know trying to keep in your faith uh, whatever it is there's no judgment there you know it's it's all about but keeping it relevant to your art so i think for me um, that's that's something that like i've seen these students like for them also it's about finding time when they can Yeah. also relegating to art and creating more and more art and making it more i think a lot of people have been able to keep that discipline hard work um, alive and uh, have translated into not having full time careers a uh, full time uh, jobs but full time careers and then maybe you know doing some summer jobs part time yahan wa for if they have to but uh, it's good to see a lot of students in art uh, you know like take that path in making make 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 a difference for themselves mm-hmm. but but yeah. but in chicago have you visited art colleges um i not in chicago i in new york i have okay. this the uh, the grand central Acad- uh, academy of art i've been to that place mm-hmm. and i've been in couple of other places not in chicago okay but yeah what's your leading question माई लीडिंग क्वेश्चन इज आपने वो कॉलेजेस में जो फॉरेन के कॉलेजेस होते हैं आर्ट कॉलेजेस उसमें क्या होता है कैसे होते हैं वो कॉलेज तो आई हैवेंट मैं मैं ऐसी वो ट्रेडिशनल पांच साल वो ऐसी कॉलेज में नहीं गई हूँ मैं वो एटलियर्स जो बोलते हैं ना वो जहाँ कंप्लीट लाइक फ्लोरेंस में है ये सब एटलियर्स होते हैं ना वो वो कंप्लीटली हंड्रेड परसेंट फोकस्ड ऑन ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग कोर्सेस सो व्हाट व्हाट यू टेल एटलियर्स आई थिंक हाँ एटलियर is like a i think a french word for studio right like it's basically where you have a school where um you you are practicing art like pretty much like full time oh. uh, drawing cast jo hote hai na cast ki um cast se drawings banti hai yeah. so all life 
लाइफ साइज और लाइफ लाइक फ्रॉम मॉडल्स वो फुल टाइम जो होती है लाइक दे हैव लाइक फ्रॉम सेम इवन नाइन ओ क्लॉक टू लाइक ऑल द वे टू टेन पी एम दे हैव क्लासेज ऑफ ड्रॉइंग एंड पेंटिंग सो दे हंड्रेड परसेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर क्रिएटिंग फाइन आर्टिस्ट रेप्रेजेंटेशनल आर्टिस्ट एकेडमिक artists really okay. because wo to like they they do drawings over like 6 weeks like same drawing they'll work for on 6 weeks yeah. right from skeletal drawing line then shading so then they take the entire like that bandwidth of time so there is a plus to it minus to it so from what i seen sankhya yeah maybe wo nervous system jo hai hmm. mujhe aise aise kamon mein dilchasp nahi hai like i don't even have the patience to like sit on one thing for four six weeks yeah. so but it's it's really a great discipline it teaches there's advantage to it i think it trains your eye it, it makes you more patient it trains your eye to be more accurate uh, because you have to like really accurately like copy shapes yeah. uh, it's not like or just having like this quick you know like um not that disciplined approach right like people sometimes just draw a sketch very like carelessly yeah. because it's not you're not totally present with it but here you have to be super present and you know so though atelier systems it is a little laborious process in my opinion mm. uh, again it's just my yeah, yeah, my yeah, approach okay. yeah. but uh, it's that's the way i mean that's like it's like you're invested in a really long term okay. uh, period of time right so Yeah. but you learn a lot uh, of academic style of yeah. drawing and painting to me i think if you do that if your apni apni wo jo kya bolte hai um nature jo hai apni constitution jo hai like if it is more um you know patient or you disciplined you organized as yeah. an individual ho aap to yeah. wo suit karegi aapko wo approach kyunki aap very you know like ocd yeah. you know you have everything has to become perfect you know that's the thing but like there is also a little quiet and peace in that like the the artwork jo banti hai us approach se mm. ek uh, ek uh, um, ek type ki wo feeling aati hai paintings jo jab dekhte hain उस टाइप की ये वो बहुत लाइक यू नो स्टिलनेस की पेंटिंग्स होती है वही क्वाइट शांत यू नो इट्स लाइक नॉट क्रेजीनेस बट जब व्हेन यू सी माय काइंड ऑफ वर्क इट्स जस्ट लाइक एनर्जी राइट इट्स लाइक लाइक एक्सप्लोजन एंड ऑल या राइट राइट एंड दैट्स दैट्स एग्जैक्टली माय नेचर यू कैन टेल यस 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 वी कैन सी यू कैन सी यस सो इट्स लाइक देयर इज नो पेशेंस आई मीन पेशेंस इन अ डिफरेंट वे आई हैव बीन पेशेंट बट इट्स इट्स अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पेशेंस सो I think it's all about knowing who you are. Like, अपने आप को, you know, समझो, अपने आप को recognize करो, and I, I think that's the kind of approach you will definitely naturally lead into. Because if you are the kind of a quiet person, if you say no, you know, Sujitha Bosle ki paintings, you know, I really want to paint like her, sustain नहीं होगी. हम्म 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 हम्म. आपने बहुत से अलग अलग countries में travel किया है, like Chicago, New York, and etc okay so aapke hisab se jo foreign mein jo art colleges hote hain wahan pe government unko kaise uh, support karti hai i think grants hoti hai scholarships hoti hai mm-hmm. um i think from art, high school. art colleges uh, alag alag countries uh, art ko kaise support karti hai i think the american uh, america mein jo ye abhi non profit jo aise organizations hai na wo photo society and i guess उनकी वो टैक्स एग्जामेशन होती होंगी रीजन वाई ये आर्ट फंड और आर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होते हैं टू इट्स अ बाय फोल्ड इट्स अ डबल एज सोड सो दे आर ट्राई टू हेल्प द कम्युनिटी दे वॉन्ट टू लेट लाइक आई नो द रेप्रेजेंटेशन आर्ट सीन हियर दे रियली वॉन्ट कीप इट अ लाइफ सो दे आर दे गो टू एनी एक्सटेंट टू रिक्रूट you know at faculty that is willing to you know give their time so i am one of the faculties for the portrait society of america so yeah. i i do it for i don't get paid for it uh, but there's a different kind of you know compensation right so you get the goodwill you are helping that society ex- ex- continue their legacy because we we'll, we believe in portraiture we believe in representation how you work the faculty wise i i teach i lend my time i mean i contribute my time by teaching workshops and they are uh, 
or uh, even like doing a uh, demonstrations uh, you know for people who've come for that event right mm -hmm. so there's a lot of like question and answers and you have like these breakout sessions teaching basically teaching or apni story share karne jo main abhi aapke sath kar rahi hu you know i have like a preview of uh, my background you know like telling people about how like inspirational talks Uh, yeah. So the people also feel like you know a lot of young girls and guys come there and they like they obviously hopeful to hear your stories and understand how did you come to this place and because we all we all made made of the same flesh and blood and spirit man like yeah. at the end of the day you know everybody can make this happen and I truly believe that I I think hard work or mm -hmm. is a you know is, is like a the, the typical co uh, quality that you need to lend to it mm -hmm. but I think that that's how the governments I think have helped a lot of institutions here. Mm -hmm. take that plunge and i support them i mean even your uh, collaborations with museum here uh this i've seen like a lot of universities they'll have like you know they because they want their students to pursue and keep the you know art of uh, representational art or fine art intact the whole culture uh they will give them you know incentives to like tie up with collaborate with museums do like shows for um, museum shows for students of certain, certain like you know level uh, i've seen that like that's like really interesting right because i've never heard anything like that happen anywhere else where you can actually like take part in these you know um, museum shows and museum shows are a big deal like you you get to you know hang your work hangs in a museum for a few like days or whatever yeah. and that's in your You no know, your your bio data like okay, you can say that i have my work hung in this museum you know yeah. so those are the kind of pros and pluses that i think the government does help like a lot of these uh, colleges or institutions or organizations yeah yeah awesome yeah um, i'm sure there's other ways that i'm not it's not coming to me yet but i'm sure there are uh, like this whole country i've noticed like it's very very art centric like you get a lot i mean like because of the fact that the government also believes in you know fundraisers for auctions for a uh, lot of the uh, up and coming uh, artists as well they'll have like i know the scottsdale jo um, arizona state hai mm -hmm. scottsdale uh, you know uh, there's a school they call the scottsdale uh, art school that's a very very prominent like it's got a has a legacy for many years and they they're also they've like started to make their uh, uh, courses very affordable in fact sometimes they even like have these giveaways for some you know x number of students because of depending on the credits from the school like how much percentage they've like had you know in their exams they actually get like a full scholarship to go to the, to come and take those courses so that's the kind of stuff i think they that through that they encourage you know the young generation to pursue art so it's not looked down upon okay. it's not like oh you know artist ban rahe ho kya banoge no there is no like it's a struggle in india we thought Mm. when i was in my school i remember nobody really encouraged art because either you became a graphic designer or pretty much like an animation and yeah. i was pretty much so if you didn't want to be a fine artist was like never mind right mm. so yeah, i think even in india it's changed a lot which is good it's really good Yes, yes. और एक था मेरे आ, मेरे मन में एक क्वेश्चन था कि आप जब फॉरेन जो यूएस में आप अलग अलग म्यूजियम्स में आप विजिट करते हो तब आपको फॉरेन आर्टिस्ट के पेंटिंग्स तो दिखते ही रहेंगे म्यूजियम्स में बट कभी ऐसे हुआ है कि कोई इंडियन आर्टिस्ट जो उनका पेंटिंग आपने देखा हुआ होगा then uh, ek ek actually here uh, in uh, the art and institute uh, chicago me um, there was one where they had like i think it was a, i forget the exhibit but had a south asian cultural exhibit and there there was a hussein hanging okay, okay. yeah i mean so it's definitely a proud feeling and all but like i mean it's it's a definitely a moment yeah uh, there was like a lot of southeast asian community uh, culture ka wo jo exhibits the so there was like from every country but i the one i that stood out was only i could recognize was of course mf hussein mm -hmm. unki artwork okay. sorry your question was how did i feel is that what you asked me no no i just want to ask ki aapne kabhi uh, foreign ke museum mein indian artist ke paintings dekhe hai kya yeah that's it yeah definitely raza ki dekhi i mean no mostly the You know the progressive group or whatever they call themselves, ah, right? That progressive uh, art. 
contemporary progressive art um those paint painters i've seen but I've, i haven't seen any like up and coming or any shows like that this you know really um yeah no but of course i've seen pramod kurlekar's painting in the photo society and uh, vasudev kamat sir's painting also i mean not well his painting was there at the time but abhi to i've seen is the only indian painter i think i recall is now pramod या प्रफुल सर के भी है प्रफुल सावन सर के है वो भी काफी वो और उनके भाई है वो दोनों दोनों या नो नो ही लिव्स इन इंडिया आई थिंक ही लिव्स इन नाशिक या और उनके बहुत से पेंट मतलब वो तो है ना मतलब निशिकांत पालंडे सर से मैंने वो ही इज ऑल्सो आई थिंक वो अप्लाइड आर्टिस्ट है बट उनका काम भी फाइन आर्टिस्ट के जैसा ही है तो उनसे बात करते हुए उन्होंने कहा था कि ही लिवस थ्री डेज आउट ऑफ इंडिया एंड सिक्सटी फाइव डेज इन इंडिया ऐसे तो मोदी के बाद वो ही आगे सबसे ज्यादा घूमने वाले है uh, इंडिया में अलग अलग कंट्रीज में घूमते हैं उनके भी बहुत से uh, अलग अलग कंट्रीज में पेंटिंग्स लगते हैं yes. so, last question is uh, जो जो आपने uh, कुछ बहुत सालों पहले सोचा था कि मुझे अब जब आप पेंटिंग करने बैठे हो और आप सोच रहे हो कि हम हमारे लाइफ में कभी कभी वो मोमेंट आता है ना कि हम थोड़ा सोचते हैं लॉन्ग टर्म का कि मुझे ऐसा कुछ करना है उस डे को उस वो टाइम को और आज के टाइम को अगर देखो तो क्या आप वो बने हो या फिर वैसा कुछ आपने लाइफ में अचीव किया है या फिर एटसेट्रा ऐसा कुछ आपने ऐसा कुछ सोचा था वो अभी आप बने हो क्या मैंने ये दिन भी नहीं सोचा था यार thought okay. if you asked me this uh what 20 years back that yeah. i was going to be an artist in america whatever doing this and whatever achievements i've had nada nothing at all because i i i i'm not one of those people uh, sanket i i don't really plan like way ahead or, or i'm a very organic being like i just पर कुछ तो सोचा रहेगा वो क्या सोचा था आपने वो थोड़ा बताइए कि एटलीस्ट मैं ये तो बन जाऊंगी इतने सालों में फोर्टीज में कुछ तो सोचा रहेगा जब मैंने वो डिसीजन ली थी कि मैं मैं वो माँ नहीं बनूंगी एंड ऑल दैट टिपिकल रोल वो जो नहीं होना था मेरे साथ तो मैंने यू नो सोचा कि ये तो फिर मेरी जिंदगी कैसी कटेगी ना लाइक वॉट एम आई गोन डू मेरी वो कॉर्पोरेट बैकग्राउंड गो आफ्टर मनी रैट रेस में यू नो बिजी हो जाएगी या समथिंग जो मुझे इंटरेस्ट लाइक पैशनेट जो मैं बहुत पैशनेट हूँ आर्ट के तो ऐसे लेट मी वो वो चीज जो इंटरेस्ट जो है पैशन जो है दैट वाज ऑलवेज माय थिंग तो फिर लाइक आई दैट मच आई न्यू कि आई कैन सस्टेन माई एंटायर लाइफ अहेड डूइंग जस्ट दिस इवन इफ आई डोंट डू एनीथिंग एल्स Oh. and and quite honestly like maine nahi aise socha tha ki i have to become this painter the only indian fine artist representational artist none of that there was no such filter mm -hmm. it was just like i want to paint well and i want to paint every painting i do has to be an improvement that is really my awesome bus. that really is i mean i still is i there's no such thing like oh i want to be in this museum show by this time by 70 years old i have to make sure i have not on my crutches and i am you know still painting none of that jo life thekegi degi i am happy to swallow it and happy to like go along yeah. just aur abhi chappar phad ke mil raha hai <laughs> and i think that's what happens na sanke that this is advice i'd like to give a lot of people who are watching कि आप इतना ज्यादा प्लान करके हाई एक्सपेक्टेशंस रख के स्पेशली क्रिएटिव फील्ड में मत चलो बिकॉज जो आप आपका काम है वो ही उसका ही यू नो फ्रूट्स योर योर ट्राइंग टू प्लान इट ओवर प्लान इट हैव दीज एम्बिशियस गोल्स विल पुट अन ड्यू प्रेशर दैट विल मेक यू कोलैप्स बिकॉज यू you can't sustain that kind of pressure you can't there's a lot of thing life has curveballs uh, you know it, it, you just have to deal with them and you have to deal with them instantly and spontaneously you cannot bet ke plan kare ye aise hoga to me you know ye rule book hai ye life ki koi rule book nahi hoti and you have to just go along and just do what feels right in your heart and work hard i think 
टू थिंग्स कॉम्बिनेशन होगा ना तो आपकी आपका काम तो नोटिस हो ही जाएगा एंड व्हेन इट्स नोटिस्ड पीपल रिवॉर्ड यू दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स यस यस दैट्स माय फिलॉसफी बट देन व्हाटएवर वर्क व्हाटएवर वर्क्स फॉर व्हाटएवर व्हाटएवर ऑसम आई थिंक ओके सो लास्ट एक आप आपके सिक्सटीज में होंगे ओके okay. <laughs> आप आपके सिक्सटीज सेवेंटीज नाइनटीज में जब होंगे तब आपको कैसे मतलब अगर आप नाइनटीज में ये वीडियो देखोगे तो आपको आ, कुछ बताना हो तो क्या आपको लगता है कि आप नाइनटीज में क्या करना पसंद करोगे नाइनटीज में यू नो द फैक्ट दैट आई एम लाइक गेटिंग knock on wood okay. i think that's what i want to do i want to keep playing tennis till i'm like super old even if it means just like hitting i want to be playing like roger federer but you know <laughs> the, uh, tennis khelna being active i think that that's what i'm trying to say like i want to be active yeah. i want to be able uh, uh do everything physically like being active hiking sport exercise yoga you know that sort of a thing and and hence paint because then i have to act to like maybe i'll be sitting and painting at the time because yeah. abhi to i can never sit and paint i'm always standing uh so as long as i can do that that's all i want <laughs> awesome ओके तो आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट सारे ऑलमोस्ट का बहुत सी मतलब क्वेश्चंस जितने थे उससे काफी ज्यादा बातें हुई है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग अस टाइम और शेवटी मला असा बोलायला वाटेल की सुचित आई मला तुझ्याशी बोलून खूप मजा आली कधी मुंबईला आल्यावरती आपण नक्की भेटू मला खूप आवडेल हे खूपच छान भेट झाली आपली आणि अगदी इम्प्रॉम टू आणि तू म्हटलास तसंच छान इट्स लाईक ईज मध्ये इंटरव्ह्यू होतात ना तशीच एनर्जी सो की हार्ट इन द राईट प्लेस आणि मला तशी ते वाई बाली म्हणून मी म्हटलं की आय विल बी नाईस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी फॉर यू ऑल्सो टू गेट आउट अँड कीप you know getting yes. mostly encourage you to do, keep continuing on your yes work. yes yes thank you so much thank you so much namaskar namaskar Take care. yes Bye. thank you yeah gungunata hai dil mera ram dam daram dam 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 daram daram dam daram dam daram daram dam daram dam